All right, uh, this is Roland Benoskin uh, from East Marsh Acres. Uh, one more time, and uh, we're cleaning up the garage. Uh, so one of the tasks that we had to do was to uh, essentially empty out the brooder that we had used for the meat birds. So you can see that we've been at that task a little bit already. Uh, so I've been working on it for a little bit. Uh, we dragged the, uh, the entire brooder out here. We'll be storing it around the corner of the, the garage outside um, and put a tarp over top of it. But uh, we're taking all of the compost materials or the materials that were at the bottom uh, for the bedding for the actual birds themselves and bringing it over to the composter, uh, which is over there by the, uh, the main gardens. And uh, I'll show you um, what that looks like when we get to the composters as well. Um, so I'll just continue on with um, emptying this. And uh, Patricia is cleaning up all the materials that have accumulated since our building projects and since the, uh, the work that was done on the inside of the house. So you can see some of the wood over there, some drywall that needs to be cleaned up, etc. The floor needs a fair amount of work. And then I've got a number of projects over there that I've just not gotten to uh, that need to be addressed as well. So you can see the stools um, that need to be uh, put back together again with some glue. Um, we have uh, uh, ladders that uh, are not our own um, and various other pieces that need to be uh, put away, uh, etc. So we'll, we'll work on this a uh, little bit uh, today and uh, I'll put the other camera on, uh, the one that you can see over there. Um, turn that one on so that it can document uh, our work as we're going along. Um, and then hopefully we get this uh, entire place cleaned up uh, quite a bit. Um, Trisha's been working quite diligently at it already. So we'll keep you informed. Talk to you soon. Alright, it's uh, Roland from East Marsh Acres and uh, it's early on a Tuesday morning. i uh, got to remember to take out the uh, recycling. Um, we're going to be uh, harvesting the uh, meat chickens, putting them into crates um, to take them away for um, processing. It's uh, their bad day. Anyways, uh, we're uh, in the process of doing that, so we will take you along for the ride. Yeah, it's probably easiest to actually just put them across, but anyways. that we picked up from the processing plant yesterday. What? Oh, they're alert now. <laughs> right at the door. Oh, man, they are moving. Yeah, I know. We haven't seen them move like this in a long time.
wanted to give you a glimpse as to what the end uh, result of our work with meat chickens uh, for this time around has been. And uh, here we have essentially um, about 24 of the chickens um, all dressed and uh, frozen, uh, ready to go in our freezer. Um, we took three chickens to our uh, neighbor uh, for the use of her land um, for the last five weeks and uh, there's one chicken that will be um, roasting up uh, this weekend to see uh, the kind of quality that we actually have. Um, we're planning on uh, doing the process again with another 30 chickens uh, so essentially we'll end up with um, about 55 uh, or so uh, chickens so that we can have one or two uh, per week throughout the rest of the year. Um, at least that's the plan and we'll have to see uh, what we can do with that. Um, the average tally uh, of the chickens uh, in terms of size was about seven, seven and a half pounds or something along those lines. Um, and then there were some smaller ones, but uh, that was the average. Uh, so there are quite a number that were quite large uh, for eight weeks of work. Um, Tricia says that the price tag is somewhere around uh, $2.7 uh, uh, per pound, something along those lines, um, for pasture-raised uh, chickens. So. I, I think we've done well in terms of not only the price tag, but also in terms of the, the kind of quality of, uh, uh, of food that we've actually been able to raise in terms of the meat itself. Um, but let's uh, let the taste uh, tell the tale. Um, so we'll uh, give you a glimpse as to what it's like uh, when we actually get there on the weekend. Anyways, uh, now it's off to uh, see if the um, uh, egg layers are actually um, getting themselves into bed. Uh, uh, I do this check around 9.30 every night, and we just make sure that they're all uh, tucked into the chicken shawl so that they're safe and sound, um, having a good sleep over the night. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.